Well, it, it was very special. Uh, you know, you, you uh, were down the whole day and, uh, you know, kept in kept the game in range. Strauss uh, was really battling it out there and it's really a credit to him to uh, to kind of fight himself a little bit with some pitches and keep us in the game. You know, he was he was uh, kind of ball away on the left handers a little bit. Toll and Core had some great at bats against him to get the pitch count up, but he uh, gave up one run in two separate innings and you know that's huge. You know when you're when you're fighting yourself a little bit and you're uh, you're uh, able to just put a one up there, that's pretty good. So um, you know the, the win was real special because it was uh, against a very good ball club, against uh, their closer who, who's outstanding, and um, um, you know just just being down. And, and as much as we've uh, struggled lately to to just keep fighting, I'm I'm very proud of our ball players. Well, I, they got a good bullpen, you know. Uh, it's um, this every now and then you get, you, you know, you put something together. But uh, uh, Guzzi had a great at bat leading off the inning. Uh, Willie's at bat was outstanding just like last night. Willie was uh, in, in the midst of a great at bat. And, uh, you know, that, Willie's numbers are very misleading. You know, he's if on paper it doesn't look so great, but he's grinded out a lot of great at bats for us and uh, did it again today right there. But uh, Zim's at bat. Was huge drawing the walk there. Uh, Adam Dunn obviously. Um, Pudge hit a tough pitch there, but um, you know there was uh, just a lot of fight there in the ball club. How afraid were you when Adam's ball was top of How afraid were you that Niger and the? Well, I was. You know, I'm watching the flight of the ball, so I didn't. I didn't catch up with what was happening with our runners there. Um, you know, in, in terms of, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't think that anybody had uh, passed anybody, anything like that. But um, certainly, it was could have got a little hairy there, you know. And and fortunately, uh, Pat did a great job over there at third base, uh, getting those two guys going, but holding them up. And um, so, you know, it was uh, a good job by Pat, a good job by the, the runners to recover. Well, it had that that possibility, you know. Um, uh, you probably noticed I had Batista up in the first inning. I, I did not want him to uh, to throw uh, 45 pitches in the first inning, and and um, you know that would have uh, I probably would have got him out of there. I was going to let him go through uh, through R. A. Dickey, their pitcher. I was going to let him go through there, and and then uh, if we didn't get the third out, I would have got him out of there. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you, when he hit it, uh, you know, Adam, is, his ball carries so well that I, I knew he didn't really get it, but it had a chance because he doesn't have to really hit the ball to, to hit a home run. So I just, um, I, I knew he didn't get, get it the way he normally gets it. So um, uh, I just was hoping it would just scrape the back of the wall instead of the top of the wall, you know, and, and uh, Pagan re recovered well, got the ball in, but... Um, it was, you know, that could have been tough because I knew they'd walk Willingham and uh, we needed Pudge to get a ball in the air and he, and he got one in the air a little bit there. Anybody else? Jim, how big was Drew Storen giving you a couple innings there, especially after he had Batista up and had a couple Yeah, well, that's why we had caps in the game. You know, I had Batista up about four times in the game, so, um, you know. Uh, I was really concerned about using him, so we, we, I felt our best way to keep the game close was to use Matt there. And, um, you know, Storm giving us a couple innings was was real good. He's He's been real good lately and um, getting some big outs for us and some quicker innings, lower pitch counts uh, in those innings. So he's he's making a lot of progress. Jim, what was the uh, thought with the pitch hitting J.D. Martin? Well, we, you know, we didn't have Bernardina. So um, we're really kind of a man short with nobody on base. I didn't really want to use up a pinch hitter. I wanted to have some some bullets left late in the game, and um, and and you know very well could have come to that if if we had played extra innings. That Morse would have been about the last guy I had. If I had used Mike with nobody on base, the the odds of something real good happening there uh, and using up a player to do it, I just didn't feel like it was a thing to do. 
Well, I, I hope it's not too serious. He, um, you know, he he was in the original lineup and, and came to me and said that he did something with his back. Uh, I don't know if he did it during batting practice or what. And uh, so I said, well, let me know as we go if, if you're available. And uh, uh, before that at bat with J.D. Martin, I checked to see how he was doing. He said he, he doesn't feel he's going to be